everyone, welcome to MsHollywood.com. I am at an incredible event tonight benefiting the 1736 Family Crisis Center put on by the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Dana Wilkie and her co-star Taylor Armstrong. Let's go inside where we're going to hit the red carpet and talk to all the stars that come here tonight benefiting the Crisis Center. Only six o'clock in the morning and my heartbeat is out of control. Ten minutes into boarding feels like I'm about to explode. Time for the ride. So tell me, what brings you out tonight? How did you get involved with this charity, with the event? Well, obviously Taylor is a, a, a castmate of mine and a very good friend, and so um, I appreciate everything that she's done for domestic violence, uh, and I'm here to support her. And, and obviously empowering women to, to, to take uh, control of their life. And what is what do you hope to, that people get out from this tonight? What do you hope that people walk away with? Uh, that you hope that women have self-confidence, know that there's always somebody there for them, a place to go when they feel like uh, there's nowhere else to turn. So go ahead and tell me why you're here tonight and how you got involved. I got involved through Dana. She's a friend of mine. We actually met at an event recently, and she told me to come support 1736. And I, I got my, I got my black suit on. I made sure I kept it, kept it cute for Dana. And I'm here, you know, in her home and having a lovely time supporting a cause that I believe in. And why is this cause so important to you? Well, I, I, I fortunately didn't have to deal with any any crisis in my in my home growing up, but I know that it's something that is prevalent, especially in in America. And it's something that if I can do anything in my power as a stylist to make a child or a woman or a husband that's being abused feel better and get out of things, I'm more than happy to offer any help, I just, any I think help that I can. That's the thing is that a lot of it is self-esteem and, you know, getting out of that whole thing and making themselves feel better is that big push too. And I feel like once you're abused, it, you often fall back into the cycle again because nobody's there to lift you up and make you realize that you're greater than it. And if somebody could come to you and make tell you that you're beautiful on the outside and on the inside, that's the first step to getting you out of the trauma. So tell me, what brings you guys out here tonight? Our dear friend Dana, who owns this house, is uh, she asked us actually to come. She is a fan of Diana, my girlfriend on, on Young and the Restless currently, and they're also <laughs> friends. And I'm a, I'm a dear friend of the family as well. I go back for a few years. So when she got all this going, it was, uh, it was interesting actually how it all happened because she is the type of person where if she's in a room, you know where she is. And she's the ball of the party and she's a lot of fun and we wouldn't miss out for anything. Yeah, so we're, we're here. here to, we're here to we're hang here, with Dana. We're here for Dana <laughs> and we're also here for the Family Crisis Center. Yeah. And what is it that sticks out to you about the Family Crisis Center? Why did you guys want to get involved with that? I mean, to be perfectly honest, we, uh, we first heard about it because of Dana's involvement. So, I mean, we, we do a lot of charity work ourselves. Um, I do a lot with MDA. I've been doing the telethon for four years. Um, and Diana is getting into a lot of charity. I'm pulling her in, <laughs> but she's the most giving person I know. So she'll, she'll give all our cash away to everybody on the street. Yeah, he has, he has to keep me, keep, you know, keep checking the credit card. Cause I'm like, it's for the kids, it's for the kids. We <laughs> need to buy this. Like I know, we need this exactly. lamp. This lamp is for auction. Nobody else is buying it. We need to buy it. So, <laughs> no, we're here luckily tonight to donate our time to perform and you know, hopefully and raise out. some awareness. Yeah, yeah, we're here to see some friends. So go ahead and talk to me tonight about why this was so important for you to put on this event with your friend and co-star. Yeah. Well, I've been a volunteer for the 1736 Family Crisis Center for about six years now, and it's just an amazing organization. The thing that I love so much about it, beyond just how amazing the programs are and the people that work there, when I, when I first started visiting the shelters, you really see that these are happy people. These are people that have found hope for the first time in a long time. And 1736 really uses dollar for dollar funding for their programs, the legal services, job placement, job training, psychological services, obviously. But these are happy places where people are thriving and they're really getting their legs under them again. And they're learning a lot about how to move forward in this life without having the same experiences that they've been through. The kids are happy, they draw happy pictures, and it was just such a different experience than what I thought visiting a shelter would be like. And that's one of the reasons I fell in love with the organization. Then when I got to know the staff and all the programs that they have, they're just doing incredible work there. So I'm really excited that a lot of people are gonna learn about it tonight. Yeah. So what is your hope? And it, you know, really well, I'm hoping that people are gonna learn a lot about what it's like to 
to work with an organization like this and how much hope they do give people and that there are other options out there other than staying in a situation that's dangerous and, and that 1736 is a great resource. There are a lot of resources like this across the country. So if there's someone in, in, in their lives or someone that they know that might need a little help, that they'll learn that there are shelters out there that can give that kind of support and help to get away from the situation that could be dangerous. for. Stay where you are. Get out. There's better opportunities that are out there for you. And there are amazing services out there as well. And what do you have that's coming up next? Do you have any projects on the works? Oh my gosh, you know, I, right now I'm just enjoying being with my daughter and, you know, doing a lot of, of work on, on myself and, and just growing some different things in my, in my life. And obviously I've been doing a lot with my book, so just working a lot. Well, definitely. Thank you so success much. Success with your time. this and really appreciate it. And my condolences to no, you and your thank family. You. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. Good luck tonight and much success to thank you. you. 1736 Family Crisis Center is now 40 years old. So in 1972, we started as a homeless youth shelter in Hermosa Beach, California. I was noticed that there were some homeless youth that didn't have a place to go. There was a local church that started to open a home for them. Now that turned into realizing that these kids were homeless due to domestic violence. And in that, at that time, which was about five years later, we started our very first domestic violence shelter. And ever since then, we've grown into having four domestic violence shelters, two youth shelters, three outpatient centers, and we help about 25,000 people a year that are in crisis. So what can we do to help? I mean, after this event is over, uh, you know, what can the general public do when they go onto my website? What would you like for them to do? I would like them to contact us. We always need volunteers. We need money. We need people to open their checkbooks that want to help other people that are abused and can't help themselves. Because I want everyone to remember that when somebody's running from domestic violence, they're running for their very lives, which means that they don't they run away from all their possessions. They don't even have clothes to put on the next day. So any donations help us greatly to, to clothe these people and these children and to make them be able to go on with their lives and, and eventually become independent.